I got some strawberries. See? They're alpine. Let's go check out a couple patches and I'll teach you guys a little bit about them. All right, so it's what is it, late October. We've already had a few frosts, and these alpine strawberries are going great still. We got new flowers, some berries. A lot of these are ready to be harvested. Let's see if I can find, there's a little bigger one. Now these are great because these alpine strawberries are super, super hardy. I mean, a lot of these alpine varieties are good down to 40, 50 below. But one of the cool things is these are bushing variety. This is a, this is a yellow wonder. Super sweet, tastes like a uh, like a, a van, like a strawberry vanilla smoothie. They're white and then they turn to a, ooh, there's a really big one. They turn to like a yellowish when ready. That one's a little past its prime. But they are still going strong. These are, these are everberries. So these are gonna, they usually start growing like early May. Cause they're, I mean, they're, they're so cold hardy. They just keep going. Now I'm going to have to, uh, dig these plants up in the middle here, but you can see how they're just bunching and there's absolutely zero runners on these. But you can see all, look at, look at all the new growth down there. Even this late in the year. I mean, it's, it's almost November and it's still throwing out berries. A couple more down here super yummy extremely creamy and these alpine varieties don't have that it's almost like an acid bite in the back of your throat on some of those big red strawberries you get but these are only three year third year plants in this bed and these these are going like crazy still there's a good one for seed yeah if you're taking seed i just let the berries dry up right on the plant and then I harvest that whole stem and then let them dry in the house a little longer but yeah there's there's still a pretty good amount of berries on this one there's four or five right there another couple right here I'm gonna have to Tell my boys to come out here and check it out. Usually these berries don't last that long. All right, so as you can see, we've definitely had multiple frosts. All these pepper plants are all done. These tomatoes, all these pepper plants. But then we get back over here to, uh, ooh, I gotta do some weeding before the year's over. Now this is a variety called Wild White. Now this is another white variety, another alpine variety. These are almost as tasty as the Yellow Wonders, but they have a little bit, a little bit different, slightly different taste. <laughs> they look very similar. But the wild whites don't have quite that creamy taste. They have more of that that original strawberry taste. Ooh, look at that guy having dinner. We'll just move him over onto a weed. But yeah, these are first year plants and these were, I mean, they only had two, three, four stems when I planted them earlier this spring. And 
I mean, they're they're really full now. Ooh, we've got some mushrooms growing down there. I'll have to take care of that. Now down here, this is my first strawberry hybrid that I did. This one's called uh, Wild Ruby. Now I took uh, I took that um, yellow wonder strawberry and I crossed it with a variety that has runners. And that one was called Pink Flamingo and it's more of a, it's like a zone five to nine strawberry. So they don't grow really well here, but I grew them in my greenhouse for a couple years. But you can see some of these, uh, the, some of these, uh, I'm, I'm considering an alpine, but you can see that they're, the new hybrid is putting off like berry runners. Not necessarily like uh, standard runners from a strawberry, but it's more of like the actual ends of the berries, the stem runners. And I've, that, it's not very common in an alpine. And that's partly uh, the reason why I'm sure this is a nice cross. <laughs> but the pink flamingo is actually like a pinkish white strawberry. And obviously I just showed you the yellow wonder. Now these are also first year plants, but I'll take the berries probably in a day or two when they're a little more ripe. And yeah, see there's there's a few more down there. So I'm, and, and the pink uh, flamingo is a little bit bigger too. So I was hoping to get a little bit bigger alpine strawberry, but we'll see how they, uh, yeah, see that one's growing more whitish pink. So we'll see how this hybrid holds up over this winter because we usually have temperatures that dip down to, well, last year wasn't as cold, but we usually get 20, 25 below without a problem, at least for a week or two. And then I'll come through and harvest what I can of these, these, uh, these ripe wild whites. Now when you're harvesting for seed, if you don't have time to let the thing dry out, just make sure the seeds on the strawberry start turning brown. And the, the more darker brown they are, the better the seed's gonna germinate. Cause that's how you know it's mature. But yeah, there's, there's a bunch in here. Typical strawberry flowers. Yeah, I love these. Especially making jam. I like to make a uh, a mulberry and white strawberry jam that is just absolutely delicious. Some of my family have had it since I have spread it around. But yeah, I, I, I love growing these, these alpines. Now these guys, are, if I didn't mention it before, they are ever bearing. So they're not just gonna spew out a bunch of strawberries in June and just that's it. They're gonna start like early May and go all the way through, usually till November or so, till we start getting like numerous hard frosts. A little muddy splash back there. Boy, that leaf doesn't want to agree with me. There's a little better picture of them. Yeah, so check back next spring. I'll do an uh, update video on these new hybrids to see if they uh, see if the plants pull through and see if they keep growing the same color. Now these are these are a little bit lighter on this plant, although they aren't quite ripe. They're bigger and a little lighter. So that that might be the plant to save the seeds from. Cause these seem to be quite a bit redder and smaller berries. So. All right, until next time, Jason from Toadstool Gardens. Check out my page on Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can check out all my gardening videos. And I'll have an update on these guys next spring.
probably oh probably early June or so when they're really starting to produce so thanks for joining me another video Jason from Toadstool Gardens happy growing mm -hmm.